Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and uh, uh, there's a little bellwether for when I'm you know prepping my videos, and you can kind of tell how colossally unpopular something is. Just people, they don't even care enough to just to say they don't care. It, like it just effectively doesn't exist, and that's when you type in the title. You know, I'm trying to do you know grab you know nice um, image, uh, the cover image. And then a um, couple of interior pages when there's like nothing. <laughs> like, I just found like this. Like, I found a screenshot that looked like this. Or it was, you know. And then, um, but then you go with something that even though I don't like Tom King, his book sells, you know, it's one of the best sellers. So there's so many options for images that I think I actually, I, I usually do like an image like this and I do an inset of the full cover. I didn't even notice I grabbed one that's in like Portuguese. It's like, Gotam Akai. It's like, okay. <laughs> but, um, uh, so this is Marvel Team Up uh, number three. And it's, I mean, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's, it's, it's boringly bad. Uh, but one of the things I, I find very fascinating about um, the progressive stack is how you're allowed, like, who's on top and then like what are the other substitute rules so one of the interesting things about ms marvel is it's only for the recent version with kamala khan uh, i believe they've done two ongoings and they've had two annuals um for the first annual and for both of the ongoings no they're on their third ongoing because ms marvel was rebooted under g willow wilson no they're on the second no they're on the third um and then it was gave, given to Saladin Ahmed, is that Ms. Marvel, a Muslim character, was only written by Muslims, uh, G. Willow Wilson, Saladin Ahmed, and then they did a, uh, and then they did an annual, and it was only Muslim writers. They pulled in, what's that guy from The Daily Show? Um, and uh, so it's just one of those elephant in the room things. They're like, so what's wrong with that? It's like, I'm not saying there's something wrong with it. I'm just saying I noticed. <laughs> and if you're going to do something so blatantly, and if it's good, just say it. <laughs> just be like Marvel, where you have to be the race and religion of the main character, or you're out of here. <laughs> like Marvel, we're bringing back segregation, censorship, uh, bubonic plague, indentured servitude, uh, craniology. Um, what else are you going to bring back? I don't know. The barter system? Oh boy, you guys do not want to bring... You, you do not want to bring back the barter system because you will not get very many chickens for this thing at all. Um, so it's Spider-Man, Mar Ms. Marvel team up. So just guess uh, Spider-Man's going to think she's the bee's knees and they're going to easily... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You guessed... Every single thing. The the villain has been the jackal. He's barely been in the three issues, and they show up, and then uh, he, they punch him, and he's, they they put a web on him. Three minutes and twenty six seconds, <laughs> and that was like stalling and telling you about. I was talking, you know, to Ethan. I go, you know, Marvel has effectively made their most of their books unreviewable. You know, like what do you say? This is cheap digital art where you use the same line width for everything. I guess I could say that. That got me another 20 seconds. What do I say? That the uh, these establishing shot of the villain is completely undynamic and just ridiculously lazy. I mean, that got me another 15 seconds. There's really... <laughs> You're almost forcing me into a copyright strike, Marvel. I, I basically just have to start reading the whole thing. I mean, they're our channels to do that um uh but yeah so uh, they switch bodies and the elephant in the room is who's the editor here editor is uh Lana smith and tom brevert wow so you got a grown man i don't know 26 years old and he's switching bodies with a 16 year old girl different gender you know Minor versus adult, different religion, very specific religion, which would probably have a huge problem with the Kufar guy suddenly being in the body. And we, we, get to, we get the joke again that he really likes putting on lip gloss. Boy, 
Peter just loves being a 16-year-old girl. I mean, it's a title. <laughs> it's a video title, but it's a, it's just, yeah. So it's one of those things where SJWs don't human very well. Usually when they do the body swap thing, it's family members. and Because they've been, like, for a couple days. Like, Peter slept over at her house and was, like, try, trying on her makeup. And he said something like the lipstick tasted like strawberries and hugs or something like that. Um, it's just, I mean, I'm not going to, like... I'm so offended. It's just one of those things that's weird. You know what I mean? You know how I just said, where do they go? Oh, is that bad? And I go, I'm just saying I notice. Is this bad? Eh, it's pretty weird. Like, mm, yeah, no, 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 no. Usually you do, you like the mom, the daughter, they switch places, the dad, the son, they switch places. Um, it's just weird because it's just kind of like, it's been a couple days and then we get the thing oh my god selfie time i've totally heard of these people um uh so then they're like oh we need to go get the science girl and she'll fix everything but there's no drama like so they're like oh yeah you know science comes with a price uh you know it, you you might switch your brains or you might have your brain scrambled or lose all of them and then they're like it's just like silly billy time. It's like uh, Team Rocket. They're really doing like the Team Rocket thing. And they're just like, uh, oh my God. It's, it's really, it's really bad. <laughs> but like I said, it's effectively, it's effectively review proof. What can I say? You've stopped, you know, doing the giant spikes of cringe and all you have is amateurish art and low stakes, uh, Stories with silly Billy humor and polish your resume. And I, what, what, what do you see the future? We, we got every Marvel movie making like a billion dollars. And this is, there's like three pics of this on Google. Nobody cares. You're at, you're at issues three. Nobody cares. Um, uh, what are you doing? At what point, <laughs> at what point do you just close up shop um, and just you know, turn the lights off? I mean, how, how, how can you just say, oh, things are doing great when I'm pretty sure Cyberfrog outsold this. I'm not saying Cyberfrog is bad. I'm saying, you know, this has Spider-Man in it. You know, I was talking to Ethan the other day. It's like Mark Wade on Captain America should have outsold, uh, you know, Jawbreakers by a factor of 10 or 20 or 50 instead of two or three. In fact, you just launched that Ignita with Kwanzaa and they haven't gotten the sales figures yet, but I'm pretty sure, you know, Jawbreakers and Ignited, you know, we're going to have the same or I'm going to beat them. And it's like, what's going on? You know, uh, David Mazzucchelli, uh, Batman Year One, um, Asterios Polyp, which is a big art book about uh, 10 years ago. And then uh, Daredevil Board again. He was in an interview and he goes, you could tell like he's just not in the comics. Um, but he dips in every now and then, and uh, he goes, uh, they're saying something like, oh, that's not very mainstream. He goes, you know, when the, I, you know, I talk to people still in the industry, and they say the, the sales of indies and the sales of Marvel are almost the same. When Marvel is at or lower than indie sales, there's no mainstream. You're just indies. You know, this, it's done. It's over. Turn out the lights. So... Oh, this one was sad. <laughs> it's funny. It's just kind of like a light book. I mean, it's not that entertaining, but it's got really dark. Everyone listening to this, you're all going to be dead in 100 years. Worm food. Think about that one. Anyway, so this is a crumple. <laughs> I barely have the energy to throw this thing. Can I just leave this here and the sun will eat away? And I don't know. Not, yeah, yeah, things don't really eat away. Yeah, it would have to be the sun. They destroy the covalent bonds or whatever so anyway oh my gosh is this what it's like to be tom king i've had all the energy sucked out of me so subscribe make sure to still subscribe hit the bell for no surprise i'm not melting like that senator in x-men one thanks you not only did you uh, uh take away my uh will to live but uh, you're also dissolving the covalent bonds holding my cells together marvel representation 
Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you still subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. Ha ha ha. I was just pretending to be Tom King. I've got tea for days. Um, uh, uh, I don't remember where I was. Something. Subscribe. Uh, click the bell. Like it. Somebody talked about join. I was watching. Oh, God. I was watching that Steven Crowder. I know he's being attacked right now. People used to always like, you should go on Crowder. You should do an interview. I, I can't make it through like three minutes of his videos. I know he's under attack, but they're really boring. Um, uh, but uh, whatever. Now my T levels are going back down. Uh, so uh, I'm probably going to do another one tonight. It's gonna be, I'm going to try to find a good one. Times is tough. I got a lot of back issues. I'm going to do a, a good one next. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.